I thought I'd do a video on some of the um, some of the other memorabilia that I got from Kennedy Space Center on my visit. Um, I was there in 1989, three years after the Shuttle Challenger um, disaster, and I mentioned in my previous video I got a couple of things I picked up from the Space Center. I got uh, the Shuttle Crew emblem for the 51L launch. It's bronze. There's only a million of these, but they're not. I mean. You can pick it up for $15, $20, $30 US on eBay. Um, I also got, as I mentioned in my last video, I also got a set of prints from the gift shop. And these are Space Shuttle Collection. They're in fairly good shape for being, uh, how old are they now? 31 years old. Let me frame them and put them back up. There's the shuttle cockpit. That's the shuttle discovery. The crease there. Shuttle Discovery. You can see, as a kid, I put thumbtacks through them. I was so ignorant back then. Disrespectful of my my things. It's a shame. And then yeah, I showed you these in the last video. This is the actual Challenger rolling out to 51L. And this is the crew. And I'm glad that these two are surprisingly in the best shape of all of them. <clears throat> I was happy about that. And some photographs I'll share. This is Mission Control. Not a great photograph. I wish we had a wider lens. That's the old Mission Control from the um, space race days. control board. There's the VAB, which is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Now usually you can go on tour in that, um, but we weren't able to go inside, and I'm not sure if that was because of the Challenger disaster, and we were, even though we were a couple years after it, I'm not sure if they had opened it up to tours, or if it was just something going on the week that we were there and they weren't tour. I couldn't, I can't remember, but we couldn't go inside, and I remember being really upset about it. So this is a bad picture where there's a, f a finger in the way, but it's my sister and I in front of the vehicle assembly building. And you can see the disappointment on my face that I couldn't go inside. Um, that's the crawler. One mile an hour crawler that carries the, the shuttle out to the pad. And that's me being a 15 year old. That is launch pad 39A. Once again, poor photograph, the car door frame there, but that's 39A, which wasn't used for a couple of years. Another shot of 39A coming around the back. And then we drove by 39B, which is the launch pad the Challenger took off from. That is the discovery. Um, this picture was taken in March of uh, 1989 and this was for STS-29 which had the IMAX camera aboard and I was upset because we were leaving it launched I believe within the week this photograph being taken and I was I was upset that we we didn't get to stay in Florida for the launch we were, our vacation was over Um, and there's the Saturn V on display. I, th I think I've showed you this before. This is the Challenger book I have. I use this for a reference in building the, the shuttle. And 
important, namely this photo in particular. I used a couple others. Um, really good information in this book. The compartment configuration and I've clipped pages out of it once again being a disrespectful 15 year old but OMS pod and rear engine assembly your insulation pattern I use that picture for the carbon on the wings yeah, so that book uh, helped a lot. I picked that up years ago. I've had that since, like I said, I was 15. I also had this book. This this book has been well-worn. Um, but I've actually read this book. Um, yeah, this goes through every mission up until the point of this publication. Construction... It was an interesting read. I didn't, you know, retain all of it. It's very technical, right down to the dimensions of the cockpit and each panel. Really technical. That's just some of the shuttle memorabilia that I have. I thought I'd share. Thanks for watching.